The update I have for you on the employee benefit pieces. Um, we got a updated uh, quote this afternoon from our existing health insurance company of a zero increase for 2013-2014. WCA. WCA, zero, zero increase. Um, WCA is also willing to take our dental program with a zero increase okay. and match, match what we had. It doesn't cost us just to ship it. No, not that long. Um, so basically, like I said, with WCA, um, 0% increase for 2013 2014, a cap of a 7% increase for 2014 2015. And it will match the dental benefits, dental program from our existing dental insurance provider. Um, with a zero percent increase, and if you recall, I told you the it was a fifteen percent increase from the existing dental insurance company. Zero percent increase on life insurance—that's a different company—and zero percent increase on the um, LTD, which is limited, excuse me, long-term disability. So basically, where we're standing right now is zero percent across the board with the dental shift into WCA, and then a 7% cap increase on health for the next for 2014-2015. Um, because WCA uh, released the um, experience, employee experience or employee history, whatever word to you, you would choose to, to have with that, um, WEA Trust is finishing their bed, and they hope they have something to us by Wednesday. That's the update I have for you on, on the cost of the insurance pieces. We can schedule it as a discussion and an action item next Monday when I've got stuff from WBA. So and, um, I told, I, I spoke with our broker and said, um, if WBA is going to come in with a low bid, um, below our current cost level, um, they need to give us a three-year commitment. So we'll see, we'll see where that's at. The broker also mentioned that we're in a good spot. I mean, with, because of the usage of the insurance, the rates aren't going up that much. The industry norm right now is about 8 to 12 percent. So, just good news along the that front. And WEA is going to be high deductible. Yeah, they say they're coming in high deductible. Same. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. So that's that's the first piece. Then, then, as I mentioned to you, um, I'm going to this fall offer some optional health, optional insurance programs to employees at no cost to the district. Um, the employees would pay for them themselves through payroll deduction. Um, the only uh, piece is, is that you need a minimum amount of participation for the for these programs to go. We're going to start off with um, Vision. That'll be the first one. Um, and then the second thing will be um, purchasing more life insurance in the increments, I think, of was it 10000 or 5000 Again, yeah, in the increments of $10,000. So I just wanted to play that. I think it'll be a nice um, benefit for employees. And it's a win-win. Win that the employees have access to it, but also for the employer. So. Any update on uh, Affordable Care Act? The update that we got last week is that um, the um, penalties for not participating and following um, are delayed a year. Well, it doesn't cover Wisconsin aid, it's because we didn't approve it. Well, first it was. My understanding of that was is he said that the federal government wants to mandate health insurance in Latin. And that, that was my interpretation of it. Yeah, so six on that. Um, the exchanges are still supposed to be in place by October. I don't know if that's going to materialize or not, because remember, they're supposed to be in place by March, and that didn't materialize. But that's that's where things are at with the Affordable Care Act. Um, he had done a, a real quick analysis, and right now the district is compliant with the pieces that we need to be compliant with. Um, and it 
help that um, in the contract offerings to all the employees for this 13, 14 fiscal year that uh, you know insurance is offered to, to everybody that is eligible. So the trick is going to be once this doesn't become evident, it's actually taking place in the program, it actually doesn't, we're going to need something to figure out uh, why we wouldn't take advantage of that. Let's say $1.6 million or something. Right. But shifting people onto the uh, exchanges. exchanges. We need to have a good reason for the public to say why we wouldn't shift people onto the exchanges. If we say 1.6 million dollars this week, the piece that we're gonna have to the piece that we're gonna have to watch carefully. Uh, well, keep in mind though, it's not just a clean 1.6 because we we'll still have, there, okay. there's still gonna be fees or penalties for not offering and pushing people to the yeah, I'm guessing right now a difference of maybe 16,000 family. Okay, but then again, that's even variable because you, have, you just have to pay a fee for the individual person, not for the family as a whole. There's a bunch of variables. There are. Guarantees to be open million dollars. You would think you, yeah. you would think right now this thing stand that that would be the case. The, the piece that you have to keep in mind though is remaining competitive as an employer. Sure. That, that's why that's the very diamond because right. if the rest of the district starts jumping that direction, we're gonna have to look at that direction. So, okay. Out here it's gonna be great to help here. I mean they're dictating what you have to get. Correct. Right. So what you want to do is change it should be better than what we currently Some of the stuff I've read, um, more so on, on the internet news sites, in, I, mean, I, I won't name those sites specifically, but some of, the, some of those programs are sometimes more expensive than what um, employers are able to get. Yeah, right now, so if they're dictating you have to have an employer, it's almost unattainable. Right. Yeah. So we'll see how it all figures its way out. Okay. Anybody else got anything to uh, yeah. add? Hearing none, we can promote to the garden. And I'll second it. Yeah, so